the Revit. If you open the Revit program and start the project, you will find all the tools are 3D elements that have meaning, beam, wall, column, for us as structural. That's the main tools. All of it are smart elements having meanings, smart elements having parameters. Every element belong to a family which have a common parameters. Revit families are the basic idea in the Revit. All the elements in the Revit are classified into categories and under these categories there is families and under these families there is type as example the category is structural column structural foundation structural framing and so on all of these are categories main categories after that we classify the elements inside the one category into families each family have specific parameters that are the same for example concrete rectangular column all of these columns will have a rectangular section and they are made of concrete concrete round column also they are concrete and round ibe they are taking the euro code section which is ibe hba and so on under each family there is types for example concrete rectangular column 500 times 600 200 by 600 each type is having different value of each parameter for the concrete rectangular column all of them have width and length this length and width is changed in each type in revit also any change in any view appears in all the views i mean when i draw a column or place a column in the 3d view i see it in elevation in east in plan any change in any view appears also in the schedules when i change the height of the column it's also changed in the schedule for us as structural engineers a main usage for revit is 3d reinforcement you can add reinforcement in 3d and view it in 3d which give you presentation that can be powerful and also sections Revit structure also exports the reinforcement to, to CAD structural detailing, which will give you shop drawings, automatic shop drawings. Also, Revit structure generates sheets ready to print. It will be very easy to use Revit structure to print your sheets. You can also prepare your model for structural analysis, put the loads, supports, all of it as the Revit understand each element as an analytical element so you will do 50% of your analytical work inside the structure Revit and you can export and import the model into and from many analysis design programs such as robot structural analysis, SAP, ETAPS, 